Hey guys, in this video we're going to create this landing page in Figma. Now I also want to remind you that I just launched a new Figma course, so if you're interested in that, check it out in the link in the description to become a Figma ninja. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's get started and let's create a frame right here, which is going to be desktop. So we have a nice frame, 1440 by 1024. Now I'm just going to select outside of the frame. I'm going to just make this uh, background a little bit more gray so that we can actually see the frame that we're working with. And uh, so far, so good. All right, so let's uh, start by adding some text uh, right here. This is going to be a logo. And uh, actually, let's uh, name this uh, company XYZ. And uh, we're going to make this uh, bigger. Also, we're also going to use uh, Montserrat, which is a free Google web font. Uh, um, if you don't have uh, Montserrat already, it's uh, pretty easy. You can simply go on uh, Google and uh, click uh, and uh, type in Montserrat. You're going to find it right here, fonts.google.com. And you can uh, essentially download the entire family. Just click here and boom, you have it. So that's that and uh, let's uh, actually go ahead here and let's duplicate this. Cool, cool. So we're going to have uh, a headline which is uh, create uh, anything that you can dream of. And we're going to make this headline touch bigger since this is going to be the main uh, headline of the website. We're also going to make this one smaller and oops, a little bit too small. And let's make it bold. Perfect. And we're good to go with that. All right. Now, before we continue, I want to add a layout grid in order to have some structure to this process. As you can see, as I clicked on the layout grid, I can uh, essentially switch it to columns. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with 12 columns. And this is going to give us enough wiggle room to play around with uh, some, uh, some concepts, but in an easy way. So right, this is starting to look pretty cool. I'm going to make this one smaller just a bit, or actually now let's, let's keep it around this size. That will work perfectly. This is going to be the make the change you desire. Let's make this smaller. So this is going to be the, the top headline. Let's uh, shrink this one up. And uh, now it's the time to create some call to action buttons. So the first one is going to be get started and then simply going to zoom in and uh, add a rectangle here. Yep. I'm going to make it uh, all the way rounded and bring it back. Perfect. So we have the very first button. Also going to group it. It's going to be CTA and let's uh, duplicate this uh, one more time. And here it's going to be contact us. All right, so far, so good. And as you can see, we're essentially creating the structure even before we jump into the, the design. So totally fine with having like this, uh, um, this, this red, uh, columns, which are not really looking uh, all that good, but we're going to make them look good in just a moment. So just bear with me on that. And uh, now one thing that we're going to create with uh, the vector tool, pen tool, it's uh, going to be something around these lines. So basically some sort of, uh, of shapes, uh, which are going to essentially add visual interest to the project. All right, so far so good. Going to probably use a color such as this one here. 
And again, we're going to uh, play around with these concepts in just a moment, but for the time being, I think this is uh, already starting to look good. Now, one thing that we're missing though is the titles at the top. So we're going to have about section and then also a services and uh, a contact us. All right, so far so good. I'm just going to lock this layer in for the time being and we're probably going to change the shapes of this in just a moment, but for now, I think it's it's looking okay and uh, it's all good. Perfect. So one thing that we want though is a sign up button for sure. We're going to use to duplicate this rectangle, bring it here, duplicate it again, and bring it all the way over here. All right, cool, cool. And uh, let's duplicate this one more time, rename it to login. All right, and we're going to center it here. Perfect, I think this is a uh, this is starting to look pretty good. Now, one thing that I definitely want to change is the shape. I'm not really happy with how it ended up being in the first place. So I'm just going to double click on it and I'm just going to move uh, things around, I guess, until we find out uh, a shape. We can create uh, a shape which is actually in line with the type of designs that we're actually looking to create. Maybe something around these lines is is looking a bit better. Um, let's let's undo this. Just want to create like big uh, big waves, which aren't all that well um, divided. Like we don't want we don't want to create uh, any um, like big amounts of contrast between these. Uh, it's shapes and lines, so it's the type of. Uh, yeah, I think this this is already starting to look a little bit better, and it's all about experimentation. So as you can see, it's not a right or wrong kind of decision. It's more about uh, what I'm feeling uh, um, in this moment about it. So. All right, yeah, for the time being, I think we can uh, we can keep this for sure. Now let's center this, these guys. Let's try and make them all in one line. I'm going to make all of these white so we can actually see them. And uh, let's give it a shot and uh, let's uh, just distribute them here. And I uh, probably don't want them all caps, so let's go with... Uh, small caps for these and uh, I think this is already starting to look better cool so let's uh, do one thing I'm going to bring it here going to bring it here and I'm going to bring it here so at the start of each and every column cool so far so good I'm probably going to already start uh, playing around with some colors over here it's maybe like a uh, orange which has a hint of yellow could uh, work well maybe for this one we could actually give it a shot and try and make this one blue and uh, yeah so far so good all right now I think it's time to dedicate ourselves to the illustration that we're going to create here so I'm just going to hide the columns and uh, you can already see where we're going with this so it's going to be a little bit of a um, sign adjustment here. So let's lock this layer and maybe let's just try and uh, before we do that, uh, let's just try and make this uh, a little bit more around these lines. So we have some more wiggle room to work with in just a moment. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Now let's go ahead and let's create a few circles and these are going to be the base for the 
um, for decomposition essentially. So I'm just going to have one here, one here, one here. And uh, let's try and work around uh, some uh, linear gradients when it comes to these, uh, these circles. And uh, I'm also going to use uh, a plugin which uh, you can find right here, which is called Content Reel. If you don't have it, uh, uh, you simply have to go on, uh, on the plugins um, panel and uh, you can uh, download it for free. And uh, once I click on it, it's going to take a moment to uh, update, upload. Uh, yep, here we go. And I'm going to click on avatars. And uh, the type of avatars that I'm trying to look for are essentially avatars that look good with uh, the uh, colors and uh, the form. So I'm not really concerned with uh, the person in and of itself at all. I'm more concerned about how the photo of that person looks, uh, um, or actually the composition of that photo looks. So I think this is already starting to look uh, pretty interesting. And um, I'm actually going to duplicate this guy, make uh, this stroke uh, like this, move the, the linear in between. And uh, cool, I think that for, we're, we're trying to go with a more professional look. So we're going to unfortunately uh, change the photo of this person right here. Uh, great photo, but uh, I think we want to go with like a more informal look and yeah, maybe, maybe something around these lines. And again, guys, I'm not really concerned with uh, um, the photo in and of itself, but more of uh, how does the color of that photo looks in relation to the composition. So for example, here in this photo, we have two elements which uh, create a bit of contrast, such as the purple of the t-shirt and the different blue of uh, the tint. So I'm going to try and uh, find uh, another photo. And yeah, this is a little bit more neutral. So we have more neutral colors and uh, quite like that uh, because that's uh, more of the, the type of uh, um, approach that uh, uh, I'd like to go with. So let's do that. I'm also going to make the stroke a little bit smaller. We try and create like a second circle here, something that's going to create a bit of uh, visual interest in the in this composition and another thing i want to try out is to assign a different uh, color value to these right here so instead of having uh, just a plain uh, color i'm going to go with a gradient which maybe changes its color in uh, relation to this so let's go ahead here let's change this like that maybe change the color so we're going to have like a deeper blue color on the bottom and then something which is going to be lighter at the top so this is already starting to look pretty interesting pretty cool and uh right at this point it's just about uh, experimentation really so i want to experiment with a uh, different type of uh uh, of styles and I'm probably going to do the same for this one here instead of having the solid I'm going to have uh, some sort of uh, <clears throat> of gradient and uh, maybe have uh, the bottom color just fade a little bit from uh, from a orange to a lighter yellow uh, maybe just one tint less not really feeling the orange for for this one so yeah maybe something light like this it actually work uh, even better and uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create uh, an effect uh, below which is going to make uh, this button stand out uh, quite a bit more so we're just going to have this this light uh, this light shadow just going to, to put some more visual emphasis to the button and uh, yeah so far so good let's try this one like this and uh, 
I want to try some more ideas over here with uh, with these circles and uh, maybe let's, let's try and create even more circles see how that looks like just try and play around with principles of design and uh, and maybe I want a little bit smaller in this case. But yeah, so far, so good. Let's try and create also a different vector right here. So we have uh, some more visual differentiation going on. And as you can see, a lot of it is just uh, experimenting and, and trying different uh, things out. Uh, we don't really necessarily have the answer to to everything, but it's always cool to to just try around like new new concepts, uh, experiment with the design, and then just uh, to see if you're feeling it or or not. So. All right, so far, so good. And uh, yeah, in this case, I'm not really feeling it. Probably just going to bring it here. It's a little bit less visible. But um, yeah, I think overall we're doing some uh, really good progress. And uh, this is looking uh, good so far. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to simply clean up uh, the entire um, the file. So let's go ahead here and uh, there's going to be the titles. This is the main button. It's going to be in the secondary button and you can rename them as you like. There isn't a specific rule going on here. So we're also going to select uh, these, uh, deselect the other ones. And uh, we're going to rename this to illustration. And this is these two, or actually the second one is still locked. So they're going to be the, oops. These are going to be grouped all in one and they're going to be called the background. And uh, at the very top, uh, we're going to have uh, the menu items. Let's go just over here and rename uh, these guys to images. And uh, these are going to be renamed to ovals, or actually to oval. And um, yeah, so far, so good. So I'm going to rename these ones here. And uh, cool, I think we got uh, our um our final design going on so hope you enjoyed this uh, figma tutorial and um, now you know how to create uh, this uh, website design in figma